Dear friends, welcome back to Data Analytics Talks. In this session, I am happy to share some of my thoughts on impact of AI tools, especially ChatGPT, on each one of us. Like when I say each one of us, the data analyst or data engineer, data scientist who are working in the field of data and analytics. So I would like to start this session posing a question. Could ChatGPT lead to job displacement for the data analyst? What do you think? Do you think this question is relevant today? So if you are in the field of data analytics and reporting, the swift progress in the field of artificial intelligence or AI would have made some unease in you, isn't it? You know, the recent widespread attention gathered by ChatGPT could showcase the strong power of AI technology, the strong power of the current AI technology to the common man. I hope you agree with me. So this raised a mixed feeling. There is a fascination and there is a apprehension. Even Something it as a sign of what is going to happen in this industry. Without any doubt, A excels in analyzing huge data sets, identifying the trends, representing them in the human readable formats like reports, documents, visuals. In any format that is accessible to us. You know, these are the tasks which constitute the core activities of data analysts and numerous professionals who are working in the field of data and analytics. Then you may ask Biju, why do you say artificial intelligence or especially the machine learning is already there for some time? Why do you say now the challenges? Of course, no, yeah, artificial intelligence, especially machine learning was already there and we have done many projects in, in data analytics. However, the emergence of ChatGPT and analog systems built on expensive large language model and natural language processing technology distinguishes itself by accessibility to the layman. So the ease of use raises question whether do we need to depend on the traditional data analytics teams anymore? So if a marketing manager can query his computer and understand what to do to increase ROI by reducing their advertisement cost. Similarly, a supply chain manager may be query his computer to understand how to reduce the delay in his export activities. So the role and responsibility of a dedicated data analyst department may be questioned right at this juncture. The fortunately, the response may be positive. You know, when AI, AI tools are integrated so much in the system, the business, so the need for a business analyst team may be more than indispensable than currently is. So even it becomes so indispensable, you know, the roles and responsibilities of this analytics team will not remain the same. It will suddenly undergo changes. It will suddenly undergo changes. So we are going to see with the advent of AI tools, what are the major changes that is going to be in this industry, what we need to expect and how we need to change. We will ask some more questions and try to find their answers in this session. So I will start defining ChatGPT, large language model and natural language processing in a simple way. The ChatGPT is a chatbot interface which is accessible to the public. It is built on a powerful large language model LLM called GPT-3. Again, it is created by a company called OpenAI. Then large language models are machine learning domains as part of the natural language processing. 
which enables human like languages what is the human like languages human like languages means the language we speak could be english could be malayalam could be hindi any language to interact with machines this nlp technology enables as of now 100 plus languages to interact with machines do not only understand human language it also can comprehend and respond or generate programming languages several programming languages like c++ java javascript we while we have already familiarized with uh, this kind of uh, ai assistance like siri or alexa gpt 3 slm is so powerful that it can understand very complex input and analyze give very intrinsic responses so you can explore more about large language model you know there is lot of advancement happening in this field as we talk about the capabilities of chat gpt it is also important to understand current limitations of chat gpt so are there any constraints associated with chat gpt yes we can say a couple of them first and foremost it is not error free chat gpt can make errors even some them basic ones so if you rely too much on chat gpt if you directly apply the responses to your business you have to be little careful you have to double check the response before you apply the responses to your business second is so people say that it can generate videos it can generate graphics it can generate presentations chat gpt works well with text input and text output so if you upload an excel sheet it may not give you the right response so as of now the chat gpt is perform very well with text input and text output maybe in the future more features will get added to the chat gpt but as of now what we need to do is understand what are the current features that can be applied to our data analytics arena next we are going to see how chat gpt natural language processing large language model be utilized in the realm of data and analytics of course there are several ways we are going to cover some of them number 1 chat gpt can create code and application for data and analysis or streamlining the process of etl data collection data cleansing data formatting number 2 it can help you design data structures when i say data structure it could be defining the database fields or creating the spreadsheet column titles or row titles and so on number 3 the chat gpt can recommend you certain visual representations it could be charts it could be infographics or it could be any visual representation it can give you the amped visual representation for your data for your insight even providing some sample contextual data for the same number 4 it can recommend you reports tailored for certain stakeholders as you understand the insights are generated for different stakeholders like executives maybe ceos maybe operational team so chat gpt can recommend you reports tailored tailoring to different set of audiences And number 5 the chat gpt can help you create educational content for your employees to train how to use analytics or ai in your data then number 6 it can pinpoint you certain data sources for specific researches so number 7 can produce synthetic or sample data for users like training or other ai models or algorithm testing number 8 it can offer guidance on adhering to legal ethical and unbiased data practices and regulations then finally it can suggest analytical methods and best practices to achieve optimal outcomes and of course these are not final list these are some of them 
all of them will come handy in our day-to-day -day analytical jobs. So it is time to answer our question. Does ChatGPT poses a risk to employment in the data and analytical sector? The answer is partially yes. Because ChatGPT has demonstrated the potential to automate certain tasks typically performed by professionals in business, data, and financial analysis. And of course, as the technology evolves, it is expected to handle this task with even greater proficiency and accuracy. But however, this does not immediately threaten the job security of individuals in analytical position because even the most advanced LLMs or NLP technology do not pose, do not all have the skills such as critical thinking, strategic planning, and solving complex problems which expert believe AI won't match human in any time soon. So that is a good news for the analysts or people, professionals working in data and analytics. But nevertheless, it is probable that roles involving routine, repetitive tasks will see increased automation very soon which can cause job displacement. So our answer is partially yes, there is a possibility or probability of job displacement by ChatGPT. So difference, what we are going to see next is not only interesting, but also important. Let me resonate a question. I am employed in data analytics sector. What steps can I take to ensure my role remains essential? My God, keeping our role essential has become our own responsibility. I think to a great extent. So the experts are giving two crucial guidelines to keep in our mind. First, it is essential not to ignore the ongoing advancement in AI and the significant changes it is bringing into our professional life. So if I repeat, it is essential not to ignore the advancement in AI and the significant changes it is going to bring in our professional life. The second is embrace the technology as an asset. We have to embrace AI technology as our asset. So familiarize ourselves with its capabilities to enhance our skills. Utilize platforms like ChatGPT to streamline monotonous tasks we need to start automating our own tasks. We have already discussed some of the tasks that AI can assist us immediately. So take time to understand how to perform each of them. Then leverage your savings and increased efficiency to refine your skill set and concentrate on areas where you can add unique value. So you, what I was trying to say is embrace this AI technology as our asset start leveraging its capabilities, create savings and more time so that you invest that into other areas where we give a unique value to our organizations. So naturally, what happens to the overlooking? The overlooking means falling behind, while adopting means getting benefited. So currently we are witnessing the beginning. As the AI technology progresses, automation will become more significant part of our daily task. So staying informed, learning to use emerging tools and recognizing the irreplaceable aspect of human element are vital for success in the AI era. I hope this has given you enough to keep moving. So share your feedback and your suggestions in the comments. A seven discussion about it. You may agree or you may disagree. Whatever your agreement, your disagreement, most welcome. Thank you.